Today we're going to learn how to compare fractions. Now, when we compare fractions, we have to use a couple different symbols. We have the symbols greater than, less than, and equal to. You've probably already used these before with um, comparing whole numbers, but today we're going to use them with fractions, okay? So, the first two fractions we're going to put out here are 10 twelfths and 4 twelfths. Now, these two fractions are actually pretty easy to compare. Now, the reason they're pretty easy to compare is that if we look, they have the same denominators, okay? We have a 12 over here and a 12 over here. Because their denominators are equal, the only thing we have to really look at are the numerators, the 10 and the 4. And then you think, which is bigger, a 10 or a 4? Well, okay, it's obviously the 10. So that's a pretty easy one to compare. So we can say that 10 twelfths is greater than 4 twelfths, okay? So those are easy. When the denominators are the same, then all you need to compare are the numerators. Now, some fractions that we need to compare are not going to be so nice to us, okay? For example, let's look at these two. Here we have 2 thirds and 6 tenths. Now we can see right away that the denominators are very, very different, okay? Because the denominators are different, we can't just compare them right away, okay? So there are some different tools we can use. The first tool we're going to look at are these nice little fraction bars, okay? They're very colorful. You can take them apart, and they're a lot of fun, okay? So the first fraction I'm going to make is the two-thirds. So I find my thirds, and I take two of them, one, two, and there's my two-thirds. Six-tenths, I come down here, I find the tenths, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Six tenths, all right? Now notice that my tenths are a lot smaller. That's because the denominator is ten, so we had to cut that bar into ten pieces, all right? So over here, we have six tenths. We put it in there. Six tenths, and over here we have two thirds, all right? Now, to really compare them, we got to put them right next to each other. All right, and once we do that, we can see right away that two-thirds is just a little bit bigger than six-tenths, okay? Very easy to see right here. Two-thirds, a little bit bigger than six-tenths. So for that reason, we can put the greater than symbol and say that two-thirds is greater than six-tenths, okay? Now, you might have these little toys in school, but maybe you do not have them at home. No fear, there is another way to compare these. You might have something that looks like this, which is called a fraction wall, okay? Now the fraction wall is kind of like what we just saw, except you can't take it apart, okay? So let's say we have two fifths and two fourths. What we're gonna do, is we can first look for the fifths. So we come down here and we see, oh, there's there's the fifths. We see one fifth. And then we have to count over two of them. So one, two. And then we are going to put our, our finger right here. Actually, now we'll put the ruler, even better. Put the ruler right there. You can see that all this over here is two fifths. And we're comparing it to two fourths. And we can see two fourths, and it comes all the way over to here, right here. Okay? Now, be, now we can see right away that the two fourths is just a little bit bigger than the two fifths. Okay? Because the two fourths comes farther over than the two fifths. All right? So then we can put, say, that two fifths is less than two fourths. And that's how we can use a fraction wall to solve these. Now, sometimes we might run into a little problem like this. We have four six and eight ninths. And if you look on our fraction wall, there are no ninths. So we've got to come up with another solution. Well, what we can do 
is we can draw some number lines, okay? So, I'm going to draw one line, then I'm going to draw another line the same length, okay? Put my endpoint, okay? And then this line, because the denominator is six, I got to divide this into six pieces, okay? Plan ahead a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, and this is the six. Okay, this one I gotta do in the ninth. Okay, so it's gonna be about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's the ninth. Okay, so down here we have zero sixth, and over here we have six sixth, and here we have zero ninths, and over here we have nine ninths. Now what are we comparing? We're comparing four six, so we go one, two, three, four six right there. This is four six, and we're comparing eight ninths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight ninths, okay? So, oi, oi, oi. So eight ninths, all right? Now, <clears throat> now we can see right away, looking at our two number lines, the eight ninths is a little bit more. So for that reason, we can say four six is less than eight ninths, all right? Now, sometimes you might get something that's even a little trickier, okay? Let's say you have to look at these two fractions. Now, do you really want to draw a line and divide it into 50 pieces, okay? Because right here, we have a huge denominator, okay? But there is a solution. What I'm going to do is I have 3 fifths, and I have 1 fiftieth. Now, if you remember, at the beginning, we had two fractions. At the beginning, we had these two fractions, 4 twelfths and 10 tenths. 10 twelfths, and we could compare them right away because they had the same denominator. Wouldn't it be wonderful if some way we can make these two have the same denominator? Well, there is a way. We have to make a fraction equivalent to 3 fifths. So what do we think? What can we multiply 5 times to get 50? Well, if you know that 5 times 10 equals 50, we can start making an equivalent fraction. And then we multiply 3 times 10, and that, of course, equals 30. And you know what? 3 fifths now equals 30 fiftieths. And if we have 30 fiftieths, well, then we can see that we have a 50 for the denominator there and a 50 for the denominator there. And once we have that, all we need to compare here are the numerators. So, which is bigger, 30 or 1? Well, that's pretty obvious. It is the 30, so 30 fiftieths is greater than 1 fiftieth, and because 3 fifths is equal to 30 fiftieths, we can say that 3 fifths is greater than 1 fiftieth, okay? So whether you solve these by multiplying to get a common denominator, or you use a number line, or if you use a fraction wall, or if you use these fun little pieces, you can always compare fractions.